Okay, welcome back to another episode of flat picking guitar techniques that they won't tell you about. I don't know who they are, but they're not talking. So here's the deal. Here's a G run. Everybody should be able to play a G run. is the same one string lower in the key of C. In fact, we're going to find out that G, C, F, and B flat are all the same. They're just different. Here it is. G. Okay. Let the chord shape guide you for C. The first instinct, you probably play this. But that's not it, because you got to account for that note in the chord, okay? And then you go to F. You start on F. And again, the F chord shape is going to guide you into the notes. It starts the same, but then you know F, we got this bar here. So now G. Straight down to C. down again is F, okay, and we got one more, here's the chord, it's a B flat chord, let the chord shape guide you, there's no open strings in this one, and you gotta go up and find the note, it's up there somewhere. The B flat is great because it's really easy to move because there's no open string. So I can move it up two frets, I got a C. I move it up two more frets, I got D. I move it up two more frets, I got E. E and F are always one fret apart, there's F. can even go all the way up here to G, two more frets. So it's a really good position to know. So that means is G, C, F, and B flat are all the same, they're just different. They're different because, you know, the shape of the chord is different, the shape of the chord is gonna guide you, okay? Because you've been playing chords, you know what the, what the chord looks like. I mean, they're also different because it's the real reason is because the guitar, the way guitar is tuned, you know, you know how the B string is off a fret. But if you just follow the shape of the chord, you're going to be okay. And then you can learn different runs. You can learn this. Go to C. And then you really start to learn the neck of that guitar just through that one run. G, C, F, and B flat. You do this. part at the end of that one because you have to jump around a lot to get it but that's that uh, so then any lick you have in G you can do in all those keys so I could do something as simple as this a, a, a scale in G one, two, three, four, five. I'll just do five notes one two three four five one, three two one do the same lick in C one. accounting for the shape of the chord, do it in B flat. It'll take a little thought to figure out how to do the F and the B flat, but you'll get it. You'll find those notes. And slow down this video on YouTube, okay? Well then, of course, you can move your B flat. Let's think of another one. Um, 
this something like this. That works for G. That works for C. Go right across to F. Go right across to B flat. So that is um, the second installment, I guess, in flat picking guitar techniques that they won't tell you about. And uh, check the link in the description and check out andyslessons.com for classes and lessons. And then uh, I'll put the tab in the description. Uh, thanks a lot and have a great day.